guys welcome back to my second channel um it's always spooky season here so we love that i um asked all of you well you know i asked a lot of people what are some things you guys want to see and i got a lot of requests for some ouija board videos so i actually have a couple of videos that i want to film um about these the first thing i think we should talk about is the rules and how to know is the rules and how to know when you need to close the board what not to do to get rid of it all of that stuff like just general things about the board itself and then I'm going to be reading some subscriber stories about Ouija boards and then we're going to get into the Z word that be coming through on people's Ouija boards. Okay, so let's talk about the rules. First of all, disclaimer, I am in no way telling you to play with one. I would never play with one personally i think the stories are interesting i love filming videos like this but um you're not gonna catch sammy with her hands on no ouija board okay it's just not gonna happen i highly recommend you don't either but if for some reason you ever did make sure you're doing it correctly um some people in my family have had some terrible experiences with these things and that is why I will never ever touch one. But we're still going to discuss how you can um, protect yourself if you decide you're brave enough to mess with one. The very first thing that you should not do is taunt whatever you're trying to summon because you know a Ouija board is just you summoning something and you have no way to control what you're summoning and in my personal belief it's always a demon always I'm sorry I just think that if you're using that board that is what is coming through and no matter who it's pretending to be, it is a demon, okay? That's what I believe. So, don't taunt it, don't call it names, don't, don't try to um, draw it out by being disrespectful and um, pissing it off, okay? Because you can really mess yourself up. And like I said, you really never know. So no matter who you think you're talking to, just be safe and assume that it is not someone with good intentions. No matter what information they know, no matter what they say to you, just go ahead and assume for your own protection that it is not someone who can be trusted. Um, another rule would be to never use it alone I would hope you wouldn't do that anyway but the more people you have with you the better um, they don't all have to be obviously playing but like just just have just have a couple of people with you don't do it alone please it's just not safe do not use it in your home would be a very important rule do not use it in your own home you don't know what's coming through. You don't know what you're opening the door to. If you mess up, and we're gonna get into these other rules, but don't close the board properly, you just welcome something right into your home and into your life that um, could really make your life miserable. Because you know that's what they do. That's, that's literally their intention. Another very important rule, do when you're not playing it, don't leave the planchette on the board. Separate the two. Actually, 
if you ever decide that you want to get rid of it you also need to separate the two completely separate like bury it bury the board somewhere and then bury the planchette somewhere else separate it completely uh, which leads me into my next rule if you destroy it or if you want to get rid of it don't burn it when you burn it uh, one or two things can happen I've heard um, one you either are releasing everything that's been summoned through that board you're releasing them into you know they'll be free they'll be free to roam and do whatever they want to do in your life and in anyone else's life or two it doesn't work it shows back up either way sounds really terrifying to me mm, can you just bury it like I said just bury it or don't buy one but yeah when you're not playing it even if you are just leaving the room you need to separate the planchette and the board do not leave it on the board okay I think everyone knows this rule the really 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 important rule do not stop playing without saying goodbye you have to close the board properly or else you're just leaving a portal open. In my personal opinion, a portal to hell, you're leaving it open. And anything can just come right in. They can come and go as they please. So make sure you close the board properly. That means you need to say goodbye and move it to goodbye. Close it properly. If for some reason whatever you are communicating with starts going down the numbers or going down the letters, go to goodbye, close the board, immediately close the board. Whatever you're talking to is trying to escape. So immediately close the board. Um, same thing for the figure eight or the infinity symbol. If it starts doing that, goodbye, close the board quickly, immediately, it's trying to get out. It is very important that you close the board properly, that you go to goodbye if any of these things happen because you really have to sever that connection. You have to close that portal. If you do not close that portal, you're gonna be hanging out with a new friend. A lot of people say don't use it in a cemetery. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, they say, they assume it's because there's just so many spirits, but I personally, I have heard that there's actually less in a cemetery than in most places, but I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know for sure. But a, a really big rule is not to use it in a cemetery, and I personally believe don't use it in your home. That was a rule that I found too when I was researching. Not in your home, not in a cemetery. Although I know a lot of people do use it in their home, just make sure you close it out. Please make sure you close it out properly. If you are mentally drained not happy um if you're sick like physically sick like you have a cold or the flu or anything like that do not play it um this makes you very susceptible to being to being possessed or just allowing something in um, or allowing something to mess with your mind you just need to be mentally at your best physically at your best if you're going to do this again I don't recommend you do it at all but if you are going to do it do not do it when you are weak in any way these things are trying to take control of you they're trying to take advantage of you do not even attempt this if you are struggling mentally, emotionally, or physically. And actually when you're in that state, it draws negative entities. Because, I mean, that's what they want. They want someone weak to prey on. Why do you think that most of the stories you hear, it's children? And, um, one last rule. If you are talking to someone and they identify themselves as the Z word, I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm not saying it. Um, close that shit. Close it. Go to goodbye. We're done here. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're done here. Um, don't don't play around with that. That that one is very known. Whether it is um just 
a manifestation of you know that people will have created by sharing stories about it or whatever I don't care if something identifies as that close the board don't eat why risk it why risk it we're not risking things around here really bad things that can happen or really clear signs that you are communicating with something that is not good is as I said um, they start running backwards through the letters or through the numbers um, if they start doing a figure eight they're trying to escape if the planchette flies or falls off the board bad get it close it out um, or if you feel like you've only been playing for a few minutes and then it's been hours time goes missing something was influencing you it was very negative very powerful and you need to cut it off you need to close that board out properly and now nah, don't touch it again don't touch it again just don't touch it again okay those are all of the rules that I could find and ones that I already knew that are very important especially the way you dispose of one and the way you close one out you must close it out okay it is so important do not leave yourself open to anything like this these things are very powerful very manipulative I personally don't ever believe that just because they're pretending to I believe that they're pretending when they when you think you're talking to a loved one or just some random nice ghost who has this story this sad story or whatever um I don't believe in that shit I think that they're manipulating you they're trying to get your trust and get you to release them I mean have we all not heard the story of Annabelle she pretended to be a child and now she's having to be locked in a case and blessed consistently because it's not a child it's a demon okay so let's not have another situation like that and bring that into the world there's enough um do it properly if you're gonna do it okay and the next video I'm gonna tell you some stories and really make you understand why you need to follow the rules or not mess with the Ouija board at all um, actually on my other channel I told a story I think I told stories about Ouija boards or it was like about demons or something like that but I know one of them was a Ouija board story and it was about my um, my aunt she when she was a teenager her friends played the Ouija board she didn't touch it but it literally threw her friend across the room like her friend flew across the room and um that was enough for her to never want to touch or be near anything like that ever again so i'm gonna read y'all some stories in the next video and you know because this video i don't know if this video was that scary it was more like just informative about ouija boards but my subscribers have already sent me in some really scary stories about their personal experiences and we're going to read them together next video. And then we're going to talk about the Z word after that. So stay tuned for more Ouija word videos. I hope you follow these rules and take this very seriously, especially as spooky season for everyone else really approaches. Protect yourself if you're going to do this stuff. So yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me. And uh, stay creepy. <laughs> That's going to be my new thing. Stay creepy.